Hello, my name is Hamza Shabit, and I'm a part of group three. And the topic we are discussing is sea shanties. I was just, I will be specifically discussing the origin over the sea shanty and how it started and the way it has formed over the centuries. Before we go into the history of the sea shanty, we need to know what a sea shanty is specifically. A sea shanty is a chant or chant-like form song that is sung by sailors and other men at sea. While they work as a form of a morale booster, they are usually sung in mostly British and European vessels. The first recordings of the sea shanty were during the mid 1400s. Old merchants would usually sing them as they traveled to sell their wares. More often than not, there'd usually be a whole chorus and not just one individual singer. They would usually start singing when heavy labor tasks were being done as a form of a time killer or morale booster. The key to a sea shanty was to be in a rhythm so that everyone would push or pull at the same time to make lifting and labor easier. The chants may have dated back centuries ago, but the term shanty did not originate till 1869. Depending where you are around the world, the term may vary from shanty to chanty. Just depends on what side of a ship you're on. A lot of people in sea like to go by shanty, but shanty was a common thing back in the day. There are two main forms of the sea shanty. One is capstan shanty, and the other is the pulling shanty. Similar to how militaries have their ditties, the capstan shanty is usually sung by one individual and would have it be echoed off by the rest of the men on board. This was to keep the sailors in check and focused with work. A pulling shanty is used to have the men pull or move all at once. A lot of physical labor on vessels required the men to work as a unit. So they would all sing in unison and rhythm to all pull at once. During the early 1900s, they started to become more popular and were starting to be sung on ports and pubs. These allowed sailors to have something to look forward to in times of a struggle. A good shantyman was worth an extra few pair of hands. Because of the humor and morale, they would instantly make a difference on board a long voyage. They were usually given better treatment, such as lighter duties or an extra supply of rum. The need for a good shantyman died later in the 20th century when vessels did not require a lot of raw manpower and were powered mostly off of coal. The steamboat made the power of sea shanties dwindle into almost nothingness. However, before the fall of the shanty, many experienced old sailors jotted down over 200 popular sea shanties that can be seen to this day. Each sailor had their own favorite pick to which sea shanty song they liked. Some classics and favorites are The Wellerman, Leave Her Johnny, and Ring Down Below. Every sea shanty was unique in their own way and brought the sailors to have some form of morality. I find it very interesting. A chant can be so powerful that it will power men to move at sea at a speed that seems unheard of to this day. Sailors nowadays compare to nothing like the old seamen who used to conquer these oceans. Even with the brief existence of this morale booster, the sea shanty has made its mark in sailor history. The sea shanty will always 
be remembered as the backbone of old sailors. Nothing will beat these old sailormen in the olden times.